G'day YouTube, welcome back. One MJ here. Well, what a glorious, glorious day. Bitcoin and now cryptocurrencies have finally won. And it's legit. They have literally finally won. The banks and you know all these people telling you Bitcoins are fake and it's a scam and cryptocurrencies, they're not legit and they're Ponzi schemes. Well, today is the day we have all been proven right and all the doubters have finally been proven wrong. A court has now allowed banks, I repeat, banks, our stock standard old banks, are now going to hold cryptocurrencies. If there was any ever doubt that cryptocurrencies were legit, it is now gone. They are 100% legit. There is no way a bank is ever going to uh, get a hold of anything that is not legit. This is, this is a great day. And you watch, this is in the US at the moment. This is now going to flow worldwide and it'll happen very quickly. Be ready. Digital uh, currencies outside of this, like stable coins uh, for countries, the digital dollar, they're coming. They're going to start to be rolled out very, very quickly. Mark my words. This is massive for cryptocurrency. This finally proves, and particularly for Bitcoin, because Bitcoin started it all, you know, still well done to Ethereum and XRP and all the other ones. But Bitcoin, the granddaddy, it can finally stand proud and say, yes, I am here. I am real. And wait, when the masses jump on this, the price of Bitcoin is going to spike. It's it's already started to do well, but I am still a little bit concerned. As I've said in my other videos, I think there might be a bit of a, uh, a pullback coming, but we'll have to wait and see, and we'll get onto that shortly. But finally, cryptocurrencies, you know, you don't have to, you know, kind of be embarrassed when you tell people that you're into cryptocurrencies and things like that. We are legit. We finally made it. This is the beginning. This is where it's going to start. You watch. Now, at the moment, it's Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP, the top three. So they're the ones that have done it. They've been legalized and banks are going to hold them. Now, this is great news uh, for cryptocurrencies in general. But what I do kind of find what I do find kind of funny, sorry, is that banks want to uh, take custody of these because I think this will be the start of the end for the banks. Now at first, all the new people who get in, they're gonna be doing it all through the banks and the banks are gonna offer these great interest rates. You know, they're gonna master all this yield farming and all this kind of stuff that goes on. But eventually, as people get into cryptocurrencies, they're gonna work out that they don't need banks anymore. They don't need a bank to, you know, store their cryptocurrency for them and no doubt charge a premium for it and all the rest of it. So don't get me wrong, banks won't go away anytime soon. But in the long run, I definitely see this as the end for banks because we're going to have uh, de, uh, DeFi that's going to come in and basically take over once all the bugs are ironed out and we know what platforms are legit and all the rest of it. There'll be no requirement for banks anymore. They're going to try their hardest. Don't get me wrong to you know provide you all these services and you know they're going to tell you that they're going to make money and all the rest of it. But they're going to be taking money and they're going to be you know, for the service that they do. And the services, they are just going to look around and see how all these uh, decentralized platforms work and make all the money. And then they'll charge a fee to uh, master it all for other people. But I think eventually people will work out that banks are no longer needed. And with decentralized finance and things like that, you'll be able to do it all by yourself. So very interesting times and well done Bitcoin in particular, you know, it's it's done the hard yards and even Ethereum, it's been around for a while and XRP, well done to all of them. But Bitcoin, it's finally stood up. It's showed the world what it's all about. And now again, all those people that are into crypto, we don't have to kind of, you know, you know, be in the darkness anymore and pretend like, you know, we're part of something that's just used for uh, fraud and drugs and things like that. Cryptocurrencies is finally legit. Yes! Well done. Congratulations. And this should hopefully be the start of better things to come in financial policies and things like that. But in saying that, you know, the governments are going to be all over it and taxing it everywhere they can. And the banks are going to be, you know, trying to manipulate it and, you know, make their money from it. So, yeah, there's good and there's bad side, but well done. 
So talking about the price going, so Bitcoin at the moment and alts, they're starting to, you know, it says saw here, definitely the alts. The alts have soared and particularly Ethereum. Uh, it, it's on a run and a half at the moment. Uh, Bitcoin's still kind of sitting in the range. I'm not too... You know, I'm not overly exuberant at the moment because Bitcoin's still at around about 9,500. We've been there before. We've been up nearly at about the $10,000 range and then we've pulled back. So I'm not confident that Bitcoin's about to go on a big, massive run just yet. But things are looking good. And, and again, this is what concerns me though, is a lot of people are, you know, all, all the hype of, you know, Bitcoin's going up and altcoins are starting to pump. It's usually when it gets a little bit too exuberant and the... The positivity is, is you know, it's it's getting up there. It's, it's really building. That's when Bitcoin and, uh, yeah, cryptocurrencies tends to have a bit of a pullback for some reason. I don't understand how that happens. And now it doesn't happen all the time. It could, it could get on a massive run. We'll have to wait and see. But I am slightly concerned that we're going to have a pullback. Everyone's a little bit too excited at the moment. But we jump over here. We have a look. So Bitcoin sitting around 9,500. Again, we've been there before. Ethereum though, we finally got up to, you know, $265 and we can see it's had a good pump there over the last seven days. So things are looking good on that uh, sort of spectrum. But what I wanna do is go over to here. So this is my chart and I've had this up for a while and I'm still following this chart. So that's 2017, we had the big pump. We pulled back, we got to our, the bottom pumped up and then we kind of came back and then obviously the pandemic hit and we had the big massive sell-off and as I said we've been trading in this channel for a while now and funny enough I did say I was wondering whether the 100 day moving average that's this yellow line here was going to be used as support now if we zoom in it wasn't used as exactly support but it was pretty close. Uh, it's sort of finding some support on this 100 day moving average. And we've moved back up against the 50 day moving average again. Now what we need to do is we need to make sure that we're gonna close above that uh, 50 day moving average. And we have for one day, but now we're on to the next day. So we'll have to wait and see what that happens there. As I said, I am still somewhat suspicious that we might come back to this uh, 200 day moving average at some stage and bounce off that. But look, who knows? Again, maybe this is the real start of the bull run and the news that, you know, finally cryptocurrencies is legit. Uh, it's not some, yeah, again, Ponzi scheme and scam and all the rest of it. It's got regulation. The banks are now going to uh, take custody of it. You watch, there'll be ETFs coming out and all the rest of it. So maybe that is the news. And now this 50-day moving average is just going to start to soar, trying to catch up to the price. Anyway, it was just a quick one for me today. Today is a great day. We're going to have to mark that down on the calendar. 23rd of July, 2020, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies finally had their day to shine. They were deemed legit. They are no longer a Ponzi, no longer a scam. They are no longer going to zero. I couldn't imagine there'd be any way possible Bitcoin could ever go to zero from here. I mean, never say never. We just saw uh, oil prices dip below zero, but even they've managed to find their way back. So if somehow Bitcoin went to zero by some, you know, obscene thing, I just, I don't think it can ever happen from here. I think it is just going to be onwards and upwards for Bitcoin from here. Now, again, we'll definitely have bear markets at times where it's going to pull back, but I think this is the start. Well done. Congratulations. I, ha I hope everyone's as stoked as I am. I am loving it at the moment. Stay safe, be kind to one another. Most people should have made some gains today and I'll see you next time.